Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of News to Assange. Welcome back to my anime review series. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Demon Slayer, as promised. And I've been wanting to review this anime for quite some time. But I didn't think it would justify to review it if I hadn't finished the anime. At least the first arc, which is the coming of age arc, which is the one I'm going to be talking about. I am going to be getting into minor details and, you know, spoiler territory. But don't worry about it, I won't be spoiling the entire thing. I'll probably just give you the basic premise of the first arc, and that's it. I won't go into entire details after that, and I'll just leave it like that. And just I'll give you my overall thoughts about the anime. So let's get into it. So Demon Slayer follows the character, our protagonist, named Tanjiro. Uh, Tanjiro is basically found with a purpose of becoming a Demon Slayer. And for that, he has to train. And because of that... He came back home one night after collecting coal to find his family completely slaughtered by these demons who only come out at night in the anime series. So these demons are basically like these gruesome creatures who were once humans and became demons because simply they were bitten and they survived the attack of a demon. These demons are really powerful. They all have different types of powers. They're intelligent and some are weaker and some are stronger. And with that in mind, Tanjiro goes on a mission to train and he meets a trainer or a master who's really an expert in slaying demons and basically trains with him for a while before he sets off on his journey in slaying demons and pretty much completing missions. And that's pretty much the, the premise of the series. A few things that I want to talk about. This anime is probably one of the greatest anime I've ever seen. I've never seen such a gorgeous anime like this. I don't remember seeing a gorgeous anime like this since, let's say, Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan has amazing animation, but Demon Slayer has, talk about high quality production. They go all out with this anime. Uh, they combine CGI and anime and animation, and they put it together, and you get this beautiful spectacle of an anime. Everything about this anime is just gorgeous. It's great to look at. The colors are rich. Um, the objects to like the structures of like let's say buildings, um, character movements, little simple motions, you know, like walking and moving around and sound and everything about this is just top-notch quality and heavily detailed. And I appreciate animation like this. And I'm sure it does take a long time to do things like this. Animation takes a long time to do and it can take even years. That's why anime takes so long to actually go into production because a lot of detail goes into making animation. And this anime is no exception. This anime is above and beyond as far as quality goes and color, acting, everything about it is just incredible. And if you love anime, you'll definitely love Demon Slayer. The characters are amazing. Tanjiro is an amazing protagonist. He's not your typical, I'm going to be a hero and, and um, you know, I'm a hero and that's it. And I only seek justice and I want to slay demons. No. He's not a perfect protagonist. He still needs work. He still needs training. But he is a force to be reckoned with because he's a very tough protagonist. But along the way, you meet characters who are much more powerful than him and train him. One of my favorite sequences in this anime is like around towards maybe the back half of this first season, which is the coming of age story arc, is he trains to master this constant state of breathing while he's doing things like cleaning, eating, uh, training, sleeping, and he has to maintain that state of breathing. Because it's one of my favorite things because it's funny, it's awesome, and it's really anime-ish. Like, I mean, let's just put it that way. Let's be real for a second. Anime tends to be a little bit over-exaggerating, and this anime is no exception to that rule. So, obviously, there's going to be a lot of exaggeration in this anime. And let's talk about the characters. So I already talked about Tanjiro and how cool of a character he is. Let's talk about the other characters. First off, I want to talk about Nesuko, who is the sister of our main character, Tanjiro. She meets the unfortunate fate of becoming a demon herself. Spoiler alert, but it's right on the first episode. But luckily for Tanjiro and for the rest of the people that are worried that she would just basically turn and simply devour humans and kill humans, she's actually able to maintain her humanity and actually travel with Tanjiro along by, her, by his side because Tanjiro already lost his family right from the first episode. So Nesuko is an amazing character, really powerful ally, and is the loving sister of Tanjiro, of course. And she's always a joy to watch, and she's just simply an, inc an incredible character and unintentionally funny at times. Now let's talk about Inosuke. Honestly, I think Inosuke is one of the most hilarious characters I've ever seen in the show. He's always wearing this boar mask, 
throughout the series. You barely see his face once in a while. He will take it off once in a while, but he simply likes to wear it constantly. He is a really skilled fighter, really fast and well-trained, but not well-trained enough and clearly still needs training. But other than that, he proves to be a very formidable foe and a really powerful ally for Tanjiro as well. And I want to also talk about this guy. My God, this kid is annoying as hell. I hate Zenetsu. He is so goddamn annoying. But whenever he's a badass, he does it in a way where he doesn't know what he did. Meaning, like, he subconsciously acts in a badass way without him knowing. And then he has no memory of doing it. When you meet these characters, you'll understand what I mean. Because these characters, these trained swordsmen, demon slayers, have abilities along with their swords. And when you see it, you're going to be like, oh, that's really cool. So they all gain abilities of some kind. And that is awesome. And when they unleash their abilities, it is gorgeous and magnificent to look at. Colors, animation, CGI, everything is just incredible. And I love it. But the characters are always fun, with the exception of Zenitsu, who is incredibly annoying. Um, they're all fun to watch overall, and it's enjoyable. Demon Slayer is an amazing show. It is pretty gruesome with certain scenes, of course, because Demon Slayer has a lot of blood and violence in it. And especially with like the demons themselves, who basically eat humans, it is quite gruesome to watch. And it's actually one of the greatest anime I've ever seen, and I love it, and I cannot wait for the movie, which is the Infinity Train arc. The first one was the coming of age arc, which is only about 26 episodes long. And the second season, or in this case, the second part of the story will be in a form of a film, which I'm really excited about. And you know what that means. When a film comes out about an anime, the production quality is way above the roof and is just incredible. They do that with Dragon Ball Z and they do that with other uh, anime movies. I am really excited for the Infinity Train Saga and they're already working on it right now. And I can't wait for it to come out. I'm going to give Demon Slayer Coming of Age Arc an A+. Guys, that was my review for Demon Slayer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about the spoilers, but if I didn't get into any minor spoiler territory, you probably wouldn't know what I was referencing or talking about. So I had to talk about something, because otherwise I'd be very ambiguous. And you wouldn't get what I'm talking about. Even if you haven't seen it, I'm still giving an idea of what's to come and what you can expect from episode one and on. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. That was Demon Slayer. Again, that's part of my anime review series. Stay tuned for more. I got more anime reviews coming up. Next, I'm going to be reviewing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Diamond is Unbreakable. I hope you guys look forward to that. And I got some more comic book news coming your way soon. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.